Well, hello there. This is our bathroom light. So you can see it's a different kind of bulb. And this is red and infrared. Kind of grab the spectrometer here. See what we're seeing on the spectrometer. You see me in the mirror there. All right, so I'm gonna stop this. Stop, all right. So you'll see right here on the spectrometer, it is in the red version. I don't actually see any infrared. There is supposed to be some infrared coming off that bulb. I don't see any. So that must just be a pure red bulb. And that's what we use in our bathroom is just red. You see there's nothing else. All right, we're here in the kitchen. Let me turn the spectrometer back on. And you can see overhead we've got all red lights except for one right here is uh, halogen light. So I'm going to test the halogen light with a spectrometer. I'm going to stop it so we don't get confused with some other lights here. So I'm going to get right in there, show you what I got here. Look at that. So that's halogen. It's a, a very different profile you see from an LED. Let's see if I can get this in a better light. And it's very smooth, more like the sun, uh, although the, the wavelengths are different values than you would see from the sun. And there's very little blue, but there still is blue. So at nighttime, you'd still want to cover your eyes from that. Uh, but you'll notice there's lots of red lights up here as well. I'm going to measure a couple of those red lights. Okay, so I just measured the red, and you can see just red uh, from that light. So that's exactly what you want at night, is that red light. And this is how we run our house at night. I'm going to go and find probably the only uh, blue light LED in the house. So you have to journey with me into the closet here. It's the only place I've got... Uh, an LED light right here. See if I can get a better angle on that light. You can kind of see what, what I'm talking about. And we're gonna test that with a spectrometer here. We're gonna turn it on. Get it up there. All right, we're gonna give it a second here. No, oh, it's not running. Okay, so I stopped it. And this is what you get. This is actually a really good uh, LED light. So you can see there's a big spike of blue, but there's actually some red and some green. It definitely doesn't look like sunlight, and it definitely doesn't look like uh, the halogen light. It's not awful, but there's still a spike of blue. That's the only LED light we've got uh, in our house. I'm looking at the blink. You can see that there is flicker, so blink percentage is 42%. So it does flicker, so that can cause some eye stress. and. This is the red light room. So if I turn on all these red lights, it, it uh, will just be all red and infrared. This doesn't get turned on really ever. And you can see our house at night. There's the, the lights we use for the dining room. And that's a pure red and infrared light. I'm gonna put that on my face so maybe you can see me a little better. And so that's a uh, various spectrum of lighting in our home and what happens when you use, you know, tablets and screens that are a really high blue light, they can really affect your sleep and your melatonin. So you want to put blue light blocking glasses on your eyes and you've got to put the protectors on your screen. That doesn't mean an overlay on your screen. It means getting the right app and enabling the right settings so that your screens are blocking blue light for you after sunset. So make sure to get that done. And if you have questions, email us, message us in the comment section and we will get back to you.